Hello, hello. Hey guys, it is Foster from English Nui Kuru. Just a quick note before we get started with the show today. This is an episode, well, it is actually a series of audios put into one episode. But this is something that we recorded many weeks ago when I was still in Portugal before the global pandemic, before quarantine, before all of this stuff. So I just thought it would be a good idea to let you know before you listen. Anyways, I think it's a very fun episode. I think you will learn a lot. I think you will learn a lot. <laughs> so as always, keep up the good fight and lose well. Let's get on with the show. Hello, hello. Hey, sweet people. Just a quick note before we get started today. As you probably know, here at Inglés Nui Cru, we are doing a new English challenge each month of the year. And in April, we are doing a challenge on prepositions. It is called Prepositions Perfection. I am super excited about it. I have learned a ton. And here are just a few things that you are going to learn. You are going to learn why are prepositions so difficult in the first place and how can we fix that? We will learn about what are prepositions and why are they important? You will learn what the phrase low hanging fruit means and you will have a lot of fun with that. You will finally understand the differences between in, on, and at. My goodness, that is a good feeling. You will learn about prepositions of time, prepositions of place, prepositions of movement. You will learn why prepositions are like squirrels and trees. That should be interesting. You will get to see a lot of surprise guests like Alexia and our employee Felipe. You will learn how to use all of the most important prepositions in English with confidence. That means you will be able to confidently use words like at, above, ahead, around, about, after, before, behind, below, down, during, for, in, inside, into, on, off, onto, over, under. I think you get the point. You will learn how to finally use prepositions in the same way that native speakers do, naturally and confidently. So if that sounds interesting to you, check out the Prepositions Perfection Challenge at inglesnoidbrew.com. It is ready to go this week, the second week of April, I believe. I think that's right. Okay, let's get on with the show. Oi pessoal, bom dia, boa tarde, boa noite, eu não sei que dia da semana você está escutando a gente, eu também não sei que dia do ano você vai estar escutando a gente, mas eu queria aqui falar que a promoção do Cambly, de você conseguir fazer uma aula de graça lá com eles, ainda está valendo, é só colocar o nosso cupom inglês no Icru Podcast. Ah, também tem uma coisa, se você conhecer alguma criança de até 15 anos que esteja super à vontade de fazer aulas online de inglês, também está dando 30 minutos de graça por apenas um real. É só acessar o linkzinho que eu coloquei aqui embaixo nas show notes do episódio para você, tá? Além disso, além dessas aulas que a gente fala aqui todo santo dia para vocês, eles estão também fazendo blog posts, lives semanais, estão fazendo podcast, e-books, tudo, tudo, tudo que vocês possam imaginar para fazer com que o tempo passe cada vez melhor e mais rápido acompanhado do inglês. Então vai lá, acessem, façam valer a pena o momento de vocês, o tempo de vocês e vamos embora melhorar no inglês juntos, tá bom? Um beijo e agora, now, on with the show! Hey, what's up, guys? Foster from Inglês Nui Cru. Welcome from the city park of Porto, uh, Parque do Cidade, as they say here. It is Sunday. Alexia and I are walking around, hopefully recording some audios if we can. Probably going to be difficult because Alexia will be fascinated by all of the dogs. Hey, Alexia, do you have anything to say to our listeners? 
Go outside and go enjoy your day. Go outside and go enjoy your day. Yeah. Do you want to say what we're doing? I just gave my opinion, but you can tell them what you think we're doing. We are, well, <laughs> I thought that I was coming here just to see doggies and walk outside, but apparently I am recording episodes as well. So Foster tricked me. Yeah, it never stops. It never stops. Look at that German Shepherd. He is beautiful. Yeah, it's going to be difficult. That one. Boom. Boom. Let's go. Walk on, walk in the park with English no crew. Hey guys, so we are continuing our walk in the Parque da Cidade. Parque da Cidade. <laughs> How do you say that in Portuguese? Parque da Cidade. And in Portuguese from Portugal? Parque da Cidade. Parque da Cidade. <laughs> There's a beautiful lake with a lot of ducks, a football. And a lot of kids are dressed up for carnival. Not really sure how that works here. <laughs> What? You just go ahead, show at the park, and have fun with your friends. No, I was saying, how does carnival work in Porto? Ah, you have bloquinhos around the city. Most of them are organized by Brazilians. Yep. And that's it, more or less. Cool. Cool. There's a beagle over there, which I'm sure you're going to want to Aww. play with. Beagles are so cool. He's very cute. From our informal investigation here, <laughs> we have assumed that beagles are the most popular breed of dogs. The second is probably... Um, Galgo. There are a lot of galgos, which we would say greyhounds. And a lot of labs. Yeah, labs everywhere. Labradors. A lot of um, German shepherds. Pasto Alemão. And yeah. Anything else? No. Let's go ahead and walk a little bit. <laughs> I imagine all day you were going to hear that from Alexia. <laughs> okay, let's keep walking. Let's stop recording. At some point, guys, I am going to sneak away just you and me so i can tell you a story about inglés no cru that i don't think anyone has ever heard before okay let's play at the pombinish because we are talking about dogs i must mention that we just saw a welsh corgi and with a tail with a tail which is not normal most of the time people cut off the tails of corgis when they're babies because sometimes their tails can get so long that it's really difficult for them to walk. But I had a corgi growing up. His name was Bogey. And Bogey is a vocabulary word that comes from golf. I come from a family of golfers. <laughs> But Bogey was a great dog. Corgis are crazy. They bark a lot. And my mom actually had two corgis. So she had a corgi named Quinn. And Quinn died when he was very young. He was run over by a car. So, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, we are very transparent here <laughs> at English No Cru. And then <laughs> my grandparents, after Quinn tragically died, they bought another corgi who was Quinn too. <laughs> and then he just turned into Quinn again. And he lived to be 19 years old. Aww. So, a special place in my heart and my mother's heart for the corgis of the world. I think that's it. There are also a lot of babies, but babies, dogs, you know, if you have to choose, go with dogs. <laughs> so recently, in one of our Ask Me Anything questions, a student was asking about immersion experiences. And if it's really worth doing like a three month exchange in the US, oh, can we go this way? Last time we didn't go this way. Um, you know what I'm thinking? What are you thinking? This is essentially an immersion experience. You are living life in English right now. We're in a park where most people are speaking Portuguese, but we are speaking English. So, 
if it's a Sunday. If you're listening to this in a moment in your life when you can walk outside, put on your headphones, come and join us. It's pretty much the same thing as living in the U.S. (laughs) You have an American in your ears. Come and enjoy the ride. So recently we recorded an episode about the Camino de Santiago, or in English, the Camino de Santiago, or in Portuguese, o Camino de Santiago. And Alexia, as you know, we are doing 12 challenges this year, a challenge each month. Do you think people would be interested if I walked the Camino for more or less 30 days? I want to walk from Porto to Santiago, which would probably take about hmm, 20 20 days more or less. And if I just recorded one audio a day when I was walking, talking, do you think people would like that as a challenge or is that too narcissistic and weird? (laughs) No, I think they would like that. And I think that we should find someone to sponsor your walk. Sponsor my walk. I don't know if like that. Any shoes or some travel agency. <laughs> okay. Um, New Balance, if you're listening, or any, I don't know, travel agency wants to sponsor a walk. Kind of goes against my pilgrim mentality. <laughs> it is a pilgrimage. You know, it's a, it's a spiritual, religious journey. So, but yeah, yeah, of course, I I accept (laughs) donations. Are you interested in walking the path with me? Of course. Yes, let's do it. So last night I couldn't really sleep, so I was looking at different routes. And most people, they leave from Porto. And My cousins are doing this right now, like as we record this. But are they going from Porto to... Ah. So, from Porto to Santiago, you have two different routes. You have the coastal route, and then you have the interior route. But most people on the first day, they start on the coast. So, you walk on the beach the whole way, and then after that, they go in to the interior route. Does that sound cool to you? Yes, it does. Okay, there are some cool dogs coming, so I know Alexia is done with the audios. <laughs> Beijo. Muito obrigada por ter escutado mais um episódio aqui do Inglês Necro Rádio. E como vocês já bem sabem, todo mês a gente tem um challenge novo e... Se eu fosse você, iria lá no inglesgenecru.com e daria uma olhada no que a gente lançou esses dias. Sim, já está disponível o Prepositions Perfection Challenge. Vá lá no inglesgenecru.com, deixa lá seu e-mail com a gente. Você vai saber em primeira mão tudo o que está acontecendo, além dos próximos challenges que nós vamos abrir. Agora, sobre esse que está aberto por enquanto, por enquanto, porque não vai ser por muito tempo, vá lá também no inglesgenecru.com e lá tem todas as informações de quanto custa, tempo de duração, quem pode fazer e o que, que se pretende ter ao final desse challenge. Se você é como eu e tem dificuldade com preposições, agora é hora, hein? Vamos aproveitar porque você só precisa de 15 minutinhos por dia para estudar e conseguir entender de uma vez por todas sobre tudo de preposições, tá bom? Então é isso, dei meu recado. Te espero, hein? Quero você como nosso aluno. Um beijo. Tchau.